Solving for delta T, 50 gram sample wire coming into the cup absorbs 1,000 joules of energy. How much would the temperature rise by? Same thing, take the initial equation and manipulate it. So delta T equals Q divided by MC and plug in your numbers to get your answer. Additional problem, if the wires are at 20 degrees, what would the final temperature be? Be very careful that you write down your knowns and write down what you're looking for. This is actually becomes a crazy problem. This is a phase change diagram we showed you earlier. And know what you want to do. You need to calculate the red area first. That area. The red area again. The plateau and the decline. So you're going to calculate this over five different intervals because it's five different temperature changes. By breaking it down, you're making the problem solving actually a little bit easier. So we have 10 grams, the joule content at 100 degrees. Then you find the plateau. Because this is a heat of vaporization, you need to find out how many moles are involved here. The heat of vaporization equals 0.56 moles times the change in temperature, quantity kg per mole. Go to section 3, not change of state, so it's simple Q equals m delta t. Section 4, we have a change of state. So we got five moles again, and now we have the delta heat of fusion. And lastly, our last one is a straightforward Q equals M delta T.